Hi, I'm Maddie Ewens, product manager on the Move team. Today, I'll be giving you a quick tour of Move. Move brings together the City of Toronto's traffic volume and collision data sets. This data is used by city staff who perform different kinds of analyses of Toronto's transportation network. If you need more background context, I'll add a link in the description to read more about the history of the project and various use cases of Move. Let's dive in. Move is built on the latest open source software for modern web browsers, which is a huge improvement over existing tools and gives staff better access from home and on the go. At a glance, we can see a heat map of traffic volume estimates in teal and collision hotspots in dark orange. Usually, when staff conduct analyses, it's on a specific location or area. We can use the search bar to find locations and navigate around the map quickly. Let's search for Danforth and Dawes, where new bike lanes were installed along the Danforth last year. When we click on this row, we're taken directly to the intersection. Now that we've zoomed into our intersection of interest, we can see various data points on the map. Large purple circles represent recent traffic counts. Large gray circles represent older traffic counts, which might be of interest when looking at historical trends. Small red dots represent collisions. And there are other points of interest on the map as well. For example, this green marker, which represents a nearby school. To gain a better understanding of the area around the intersection, we can toggle layers on and off here in the legend. Let's try turning off the collision layer. And we can see that the map is a lot clearer. But let's turn that back on for now. We can also change the time range. So instead of looking at 10 years of data, we might want to look at five. We can zoom in, zoom out, pan around, and we can also change the underlying map to get a better sense of the infrastructure and buildings. Let's change that back to map view for now. Having surveyed the area around the intersection, I'm ready to dive into the data here at Danforth and Dawes. We can see a summary of the collisions and studies at this intersection, and filters allow us to drill down to the data that we're interested in. Let's say we're interested in seeing any collisions involving pedestrians that happened on a weekday, so I'll select Monday through Friday, and during mor the morning rush from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And there we have it, only the data that we're interested in. Within a couple of clicks, I can also access traffic vo volume data. We can preview different types of reports, see a record of all the studies that have happened at this location, and download reports in CSV or PDF format for further analysis. Under the hood, we've cleaned up this data and made it easier to add more kinds of data in the future. Sometimes, the data is tooled for use, and we need to go out and collect new data. Staff can quickly and easily request new data by filling out a simple form. So there you have it, a quick tour of MOVE.